What's up, squad? Welcome back to another episode of the Bone Bone Room. My name is Antoine, and today I have an unboxing and review of NBA Jam by RK One Up. Ray. Yeah. What's the name of that, that nightclub of yours again? You talking about the Boom Boom Room? Yeah, the Boom Boom Room. That's it. Today I got in a new arcade cabinet and uh, I've been debating if I wanted to get this now or some, at some time in the future, but I figured the way these arcades selling out so fast, I might as well go in and get it now before I end up regretting it. Um, I'm still waiting on uh, the Midway Legacy Mortal Kombat arcade that's uh, it's like it's on back order. so. When I get there, I'll probably do a video on that one too. So uh, right here, I'm taking out all the pieces to the cabinet and um, I'm gonna show y'all how easy or difficult it is to put together. So right here, you got the front of the cabinet and the back panels of the cabinet. Um, this is the control deck. This is the seat cushion and the speakers. These are the side panels, the light up marquee. Yeah, the NBA Jam logo does light up. And this is the screen. And this is the stool that you have to put together. And this is the riser that the arcade sits on. The screen is a 17 inch screen. This is my second arcade cabinet that I put together, so I kind of had a little better concept of how to do it this time and um, kind of speed things up. With that being said, it still took me about an hour to put this together between putting together the cabinet, the riser, and the stool. Um, it took about an hour. Uh, this is what it looks like all put together. It is a four player arcade and I do think it's enough space that four people can play. At the bottom on the front of the panel you can see that the three games that it has on it has NBA Jam, NBA Tournament Edition, and 
NBA hang time. Here you can see what the control deck looks like and you can see the positions where the four players are located. This is the side. I like the way the logo looks like it's a basketball connected to the riser. It's all uh, same streamlined. Now this is what the stool looks like assembled. Now I'm six feet tall and the stool is uh, pretty comfortable to sit on. Um, it only came with one and these stools can be expensive if you buy them um, individual. But right now at the time of me recording this video, Walmart has these stools on sale for a half price. They are 49, 49 bucks. Like I said earlier, these are the three different games that's on it. Um, one of the other things that I like about this arcade is that it has online play. So you can jump online and play against your friends or uh, you can just play offline and play against your family at home or you can play against the computer. So I did jump on that Walmart sale and buy me another stool. Um, I'm debating if I want to get two more for to have four of them. Um, right now, I have one generic stool at my Pac-Man arcade that I can just bring over if I have um, company over or something like that. But I'm just debating if I want to have uh, the three matching NBA Jam stools. So I don't know. I'm still thinking about that right now. Now, one of the other things that I like about this control deck is that you can change the colors of the uh, deck by pushing this button right here. Um, these are different colors that you can change, change it to, and it kind of lights up the control deck. Or you can just turn it off. So I was pretty happy with the, with the way this arcade came out. And um, I want to thank y'all for checking out the video. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.